I'm Erica Irwin here in front of the Filmmakers Gallery. Paul Belsito, the executive director. Stephen Roche cannot be here tonight because he is a producer and he's working well, on another project somewhere. He's on his somewhere. way. He's, on, he's his way. on his way. The limo will be up shortly. We're going to be showing Baby Jane question. Yeah. Who's the director? Big question mark? Can we, Billy, the we have the wonderful Billy Cliff. Billy Cliff needs to Let's come out here and we have an interview with Billy Cliff talking about it. the show. Do you like the dress? I just got it. Long Tall Sally's. The Long Tall Sally's for all those short, tall, what Here tall, is. super tall ladies. LongTallSally's.com. That's where to find dresses here he like comes. this. Billy Hello. Cliff! All right, we're here on the red carpet with Billy Cliff here yeah. at the Filmmakers Gallery. We're so excited to be here. Tell us about this movie. Well, this was my first feature film that I did about six years ago. And it was just one of those things that nobody wanted me to do and nobody cared that I did it. So, of course, what do you do? You make it. That's right. Because you refuse to listen to other people. And uh, when it, we, I finally finished it, and it ended up getting in Frame for Line Film Festival, it sold out, insane. Variety was there. They uh, reviewed it and gave it the most rave reviews. I thought wow. I, I gave them money. And it just kept on going and going and going. All the reviews, you know. That's fantastic. It was just unbelievable. And I'm going to so, ask you a banal and redundant question, do you mind? Not at all. What is your process, Billy? Uh, I, I, especially for something like this, I, I immediately go to what would make me laugh? What would I be excited about seeing? What, what would amuse me? Because you have to do that first, right? you got to find out what, what, what gets your funny bone, especially in a comedy. Now, this, what's different about this than anything you've probably seen in a parody is it's also dark. Because if it gets dark, like right in the middle of the film, it starts getting... Thank you, thank you. It starts getting sad. Because I wanted people to actually feel sorry for Baby Jane. I wanted them to like see a little bit through the veil that really she 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 had quite a life and she it was, she was beaten down to make her like this and then we started to seeing towards the end what really happened and learn at the end what happened with the Joan Crawford character and what she did to her. Well, what is the log line? How would you give give me a brief? What's going on? Um. I'll have another glass of wine and I'll tell you that. <laughs> okay. Because, <laughs> of course, I've written a million of those. Which one do I remember? Yeah. yeah. Which one's your favorite? Yeah, the elevator pitch. This is called the elevator exactly. pitch exactly. In, uh, in this town. I, I can't remember the right now. And, and how did you pick the glass of wine and I'll remember. How did you pick the app? Well, it truly really was, uh, you have to have a Betty Davis that's amazing, right? Okay. Yeah. And if you don't, you don't have a movie. If you're going to do a parody, whatever happened to Baby Jane or anything like that, you better have an amazing actor. And I saw uh, a play called uh, A Christmas with the Crawfords. I don't know if you remember that. It was here in L.A., in New York. I've seen clips of that. And he did the Baby Jane, which was the maid of Joan Crawford in the, in the, in the right, play. Right, right. And I was just mesmerized by him. I just sat there. Sheena Metal's going to sneak up. Sheena Metal has joined us here on the Red Carpet right here Filmmakers Gallery. These are all people I love tonight at the Filmmakers Gallery. <laughs> Come on in. I just saw, I thought it was group sex and I just walked in. So well, here I come. I didn't know. Uh, so, uh, a lot of the wet sucking sounds. Yes. <laughs> Hot guys with beards and wet sucking sounds. <laughs> I thought I was being called to my sexual Leave death. that out. Or leave it no, in. Don't keep yeah. that in. Or leave it in. Okay. Okay. And, and a chick with great tits. I love you casting Stop directors. It. I was kidding about that. <laughs> so I, I saw this guy, uh, Matthew Martin, who uh -huh. did this character and I went, this is so unbelievable. At the moment, I was about ready to do a big picture called Everything's Gonna Be Just Fine. Uh, it was about uh, the last three months of Elizabeth Montgomery's life. And I had almost all the financing, and then 2008 happened, 2009, it was about 2009, and everything fell apart. And all my financing went out, and I said, well, what could I do that would be ridiculous that I could probably do for nothing? I said, damn it, I'm gonna do something ridiculous that I thought about, but I thought I would never do, because I'm gonna do Baby Jane a parody. I did. I, within six months, I was shooting. I did it for about fifteen thousand um, dollars. That was right when I did it. Yeah, well, you were getting ready to do that. Hmm. I think I was right. doing. I want to get married. Right, but you were talking about it on the first show you did with me when you did oh the radio my show the first time. Because my, my friend Ashley Sumner was in. I want to get married, and she hooked us yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. No, no. You were talking about Charlotte. Because then I did Charlotte after that. No, I think. Did we know that? Really? 
Yeah, no, I don't think I ever Did you made Baby it. Jane before? Yeah, Baby Jane was first. Okay. Okay. Baby Jane was mm. first. Anyway. Okay. So baby that's, was that's the baby of the trilogy. Exactly. Right? Exactly. There's a trilogy. We did talk about oh it. Oh yeah, there's a trilogy. Stuff. Next is Dead 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 Ringer. Awesome. And which is and Dead in Ringer. between is the uh, Hush. Hush, Hush up, up Sweet Charlotte, 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 which is out yeah. right now on Hulu and Amazon Prime and, so awesome. and all the different, you know. Is this the no wire hangers theme? No. No, that because that's Joan Crawford in Mommy Dearest. That's Joan Crawford in her real life. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, this is this is a rethinking of Whatever happened to Baby Jane? Got it. Mm-hmm. Raise your hand if you've seen Baby Jane, the original. Whatever uh, I, I have not. So. You're not seen Raise your hand. hand. What's great right. is you don't raise your hand if you've seen Whatever Happened to that's Baby stupid Jane. To I, I prefer Perry and Terry Ray. Ray. And Lon Terry Ray. It's Terry Ray with Terry us at the Ray. Filmmakers Gallery. We have the, oh. the actor, hey. producer, director, right? Exactly. Either way, I don't direct. Never. He's a writer. Who knew? Right. You better. You're good. Either and twirls. He he's a big twirler. Good. I do twirl. I heard yeah. you tumble too. Twirl. I tumble and he twirl. He tumbles for you. Ooh. Oh. That's yeah. always good. Yeah, it's always yeah. good to yeah. tumble for you. See, I was just posing for this camera but not knowing that it was a movie. So that's how bad I am. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm like, Who are, are you, you talking about already? Taking a picture? <laughs> Hi. I just want to a great. Okay, everybody pose. <laughs> pose so, again. So exciting. Oh, we're on camera. <laughs> that's what so I So we got to get everybody who's here has got to be in some of the scenes in Dead 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 Ringer. Yes. All right? Yeah. All right? Yeah. You'll all have to come up and be in it. Okay. Yeah. Right? Can sure. I be the, the, the fiendish killing woman? You can. You can be in the corner killing people. Eric oh, wants to kill someone. There we go. She just wants to kill yeah. someone. She just wants to kill. Maybe you should have a Tommy or uh, Boy George. Tumbling for it. Yeah, tumbling for it. Tumbling and twirling. 1964, Boy death. George. He might have been an embryo. I think, yeah. 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 God knows. <laughs> yeah, 1964. Exactly. He might have been alive in 64. Ooh. Yeah, I know I was. An embryo. I love it. <laughs> can, can we cast Tom Cruise in that? Mm, as an not. embryo? <laughs> as an embryo that we, as long as we can get him. <laughs> I was thinking Chihuahua humping a great tank. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, that's, that's a good visual. Quietly, that's, that's a good visual. visual. Exactly. I'm just, I know, I know. But, you know, what? I'm sorry, what's new? Hi. Hi. We're going to talk about anyway, this ourselves. Really? All right, something important. Yes, I'll be your baby. Come. I'll be your toy. I'll be your so toy much baby. for you and so much more. Well, good. I'll tumble for you. 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 Is there anything important we need to talk about? I think we are talking about all the important stuff. Oh, okay. This is okay. Totally for you. We just wanted to do that little because you brought up Boy George. And yes, I understand, and we went someplace. So Paul good. likes to it's sing. All good. It's all good. Paul does like to sing, and he's good at Paul it. Paul sings what's in your head. It's like right here. But Erica <laughs> sings also. You sing? You sing? Okay. Oh, She's cool. great. You sing a little bit. I sing, and I don't. We just got done. Sing. Do you this sing? Bad dream on Let's Elm Avenue. Yeah, you did. That's right. And I saw it. It was wonderful. You're a singer too. Yeah. I was a singer. I actually had an album in, uh, that came out in 19. 19- 86 you and I album? was I, I did and uh, one of the songs was in the top 100 on the Billboard charts Fantastic. for one week <laughs> one, <laughs> one for one style. week you'll always style. have that it was very uh, pop kind of Elton John ish I hated it but I, I did it okay. we should play it tonight do you have it somewhere? do you have it yeah, I don't want anybody to hear it, it. Oh, oh, yeah, no. No. we can make it go 99 <laughs> all yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah bring it back <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your big comeback. It's still it's still available for download, right? Yeah, uh, somewhere. I, I actually had, was actually approached recently to have a, a remix of it, and I went. Uh, no, so they look okay. up Billy Zane. They could Billy, make... not yeah, Billy Zane. Billy Go find Zane. it for Billy, Billy Zane. Idol. Yeah, Billy <laughs> Clift. <laughs> I thought you had that. That was your stage yeah, name. If we're going to promote of Titanic, <laughs> and, and let's this promote. This is all I want now. I don't, know oh, what, I don't know what about Erica reminds it's, me of Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> if we're here to promote <laughs> things, I look straight ahead. I will I also, I was also <laughs> talk about my big feature film that hopefully we'll be shooting next summer, which okay. is my Montgomery Clift biopic. I, that's oh, that's what we're going to talk about. That's my baby. That. That's, oh, there we go. That's Billy the, Cliff. Uh, that's the thing that uh, is everything to me. It's, mo- it's so crucial. It's very I, cool. Uh, I had a right. wonderful meeting this morning uh, about it that was really good uh, about helping create this picture. Uh, but nice. uh, Montgomery Clift was an actor that people don't know who he is, what he did, 
and this film is what is going to do that. It's going to take that thing. He was my cousin. Oh wow! And uh, it's I think it's wow. crucial for people to understand so awesome. what an amazing actor he was, what an actually an amazing human being he was, and that he actually he was the first one who did method acting in film. He was the one who brought all that to the screen. And uh, later, he loved Stanislavski. Exactly, he loved uh, Lee Strasberg. Lee Strasberg. Strasberg. Yeah. That's what Strasberg. He, that was what he did. He yeah. was quiet and simple, and uh, no one knows who he is. And that's what's sad. And he was one of the most sought-after actors in the '40s and '50s. Um, any male actor there was, he wanted everything that was important. Right now, and he starred with every major actor. So we're going to be doing that this summer. That's great. Yeah. That's fantastic. And it, my family's always wanted it. His brother used to come to the house every Christmas and Easter, and uh, he'd go on and on and on about his brother. And uh, thank goodness I remember some of it because, of course, I was a kid and I didn't care. You know? <laughs> thank goodness it's in this feature film. This, this, uh, this, well, you've uh, already shot a short, and it's a wonderful short, uh, which is just going around to some of the film festivals now. It's amazing. Uh, I actually brought it tonight, if you wanted oh. to show it. Oh, oh yeah. yes, please. That would be great. <laughs> would but it, it's on the hard drive, so I don't know how easy that is. I think so. we can try to make that yeah. work. Because yeah. I did bring it. I did bring it. We're going to try and make that work. Did you hear that, Michael? All righty. We're going to try and make it work. All right. So, would you like to finish up this real quick. Uh, why don't know, why don't we do a, a separate one? Because this is lovely all of us. And yeah. come out later right. and sounds yeah. good. Yeah. So we're looking forward to Baby right. Jane tonight. And yeah. thank you guys for coming and we're really honored to have you here. I love Keller. being here. I love being here. Billy Cliff. Not Billy Zang. It's don't it's, it's, I it's fun. I don't know Billy Zang. It's fun to see it again after a few you know a few years and get to have a new audience and, and that's the great thing about this film is it can be what they call evergreen. Yeah. It never needs to go away yeah. because it'll always be that cult little classic. God, evergreen, know. ironically, shot in black and white. Yes. That's deep. Isn't yes, it? We, uh, exactly. We need to like make it a rocky I, we get, we get a following, get people to reenact or something. It's, it's like a Barbara Streisand cameo. Ex yeah. Well, maybe. Today. It's pretty much shot by shot to a degree. I've had fans who've said that they watched both of them side by side and it's really fun. Yeah. Because I did, and I did camera angles. The house, okay, Two. real quick, before we finish. I've heard comments about the house. Really quick, tell us about the house. Well, the house, of course, doesn't look anything like the original house. Well, but it's so shocking it, on how much they think it looks yeah, exactly the same as the house. People say it does. And you know why it looks so similar? It's why? because of the shadows. It's because of the angle. Because I recreated the angles, I created the shadows. So that's what makes you think it's the same house. I'm and glad it doesn't I asked that question because now I'm going to watch it. Because it's a yeah. Victorian. We shot it in a Victorian in San Francisco in a mansion. And, of course, the original film was a Mediterranean in, in L.A. I'm not making my jiggly interior. Right. It's a Mediterranean home. Oh. Mediterranean tiles. And so you got your externals. Work. Where were your internals? So our <laughs> internal was in a house, a mansion in San Francisco. Both external to a Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we, we found a, a place that looks similar like the original in, in San Francisco. So anyway, let's have well, fun. Let's go, let's, yeah, let's, go yeah. let's go watch the show. I need, more, be I need more to drink. And, uh, and I need more to drink too. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> hey. I apologize, casting directors. Please, my name's Eric. No, I'm kidding.